Welcome to the Arts Weekly edition of the Daily History Report. Let's take a few minutes journey through the history of art and architecture this week. I'm Arthur, your host for the program. On August 9, 1173, construction of the Tower of Pisa begins and it takes two centuries to complete. Woo! That's because they were building it during peace times, in between the wars they were fighting. And it's leaning. Three centuries later, on the same day, August 9th, in 1483, the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican opens its doors. Did you know that it took Michelangelo four years to finish the fresco and he left God until last, wanting to refine his technique to depict him perfectly? There is God. Over five million people come to visit the Sistine Chapel every year. That's equal to the population of Norway. But it's not only home to the world famous art, come election time for a new pope, the College of Cardinals meets at the Sistine Chapel, as they have done since 1492 to submit their votes. No, there it's not a nest of birds in there. On August 10, 1793, the Musée du Louvre is officially opened in Paris, France. The Louvre is officially the largest museum in the world. It was originally a fortress before it became a museum. It's estimated that the Louvre is so large that it would take about 100 days to look at each of the paintings. Only if we spent 30 seconds on each and did it non-stop. No eating, no sleeping, no drinking. Among other art masterpieces, it is home to Mona Lisa of Leonardo da Vinci. No matter where you go, you will always get her staring at you. And that is all for the Arts Weekly edition. Make sure to visit the links I put under my video to explore more. Thank you for watching, and see you again on the DHR, or Daily History Report.